Good morning. We are uh, making our way over to a little piece of dirt this morning that we've never hunted before. But that's how you find special spots. Yeah, somebody's got to be first, right? But today, we're just going to be pulling in, parking, getting our crap together, and kind of walking up to a high point and listening, moving from there. Good old fashioned turkey hunt. And uh, we'll see how she works out. Y'all come along. Y'all come visit. Y'all come with me. Y'all just. As a matter of fact, if you where you are right now, just stay right there because it'll come right after this. There's so many songbirds out during this late season stuff, like it's breaking daylight. It is like deafening. But, uh. There's a turkey ripping it across the road. But we can't go across the road, so. I'm trying to walk in here. There's like a little high ridge. And, uh. I'm trying to get off it. There's turkeys across there. so aggressively to them, right off the roost, try to get them ramped up, try to make them do something that it's going to take some doing. Man, 
there's so many turkeys gobbling hard at the call. Surely one of them's gonna make a move. These would have to cross the road, which I don't put it past them. These have not moved yet. But man, they hit the call hard. Just walking around on this little knob, calling, keeping things ramped up because there's so much going on. Can't ever tell when one of them's gonna break. What? got me questioning one of these turkeys on the other side of the road got louder I like I was like man how's that turkey still on the other side of the road but now he's going quiet so it makes me nervous joker just pop up right here without saying a word I mean I hear that turkey but there was another turkey I felt I was closer Get them moving, you kill them on this knob right here. Or heck, probably all the way down through here. Just gotta get them moving. God, that turkey right there is just begging for it, boy. in the field early. I laid eyes on two hens out there. I didn't see him, but I'm assuming that he's close. What I'm going to do is the property corners down here, it'll be about 350, 400 from that turkey. But uh, give him a different angle. Yelp at him on the way. Just see if we can't get him to break like a hen just wandering in the timber looking for his company. Can't even tell, he's gobbling like he wants to do something crazy. And that's what we're gonna need him to do. Something crazy. We were just up here. The field's here and runs this way. They're gonna go to a high point right here. And the turkey has been gobbling with the crazy in his voice is that so we're hoping we can get up here a little bit closer. Even though it doesn't appear to be quite as accommodating as to where we were at to get to this. Maybe just the chain of change of position will have him. Want to finish. Man, that turkey just gobbled. There must have been one in the field, I hope. Now that I'm up here, you got you can see this big old canyon. I say canyon, it's not a canyon, it's a big old hollow. Tops on either side, like so. That one over there is where the field is. I was on the top on that side 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. And I had the turkey gobbling. The one that was gobbling with crazy in his voice was at the end of this big hollow. There's a field that wraps around this side too, but this one's like CRP, it's not mowed like that one is. Now that I'm over here, I was going to try to draw the turkey around this side since he was being kind of stuck there. I ain't too sure he ain't broke and went left kind of toward where I was at. Either that or that was the other turkey that flew down and had those two hens and he started gobbling now, which could very possibly be it as well. But if that's the case, the crazy goblin turkeys shut up, which is less likely, I think. He crushes everything. You ain't gonna kill. 
a lot of turkey on that side for sure. You just don't set up for it. Should have stayed where I was at, and I knew that looking at the maps, but he was gobbling so crazy. I thought I might be able to get over here if he stayed. I think he's finally decided to come around to that side. So back across we go. See y'all in about 30 minutes. Itself into oblivion, as far as I'm concerned. I ain't going back across that thing. This ain't even that big a piece of property, but I've kept my feet moving the whole time I've been on it, and I'm about dead. We're going back to where we started up here at the top of this side. I'm thinking, hopefully, what I'm hoping. Sun's coming out. It's fixing to get on them fields. Turkeys may want to get out of that direct sunlight. Combined with, if things go like yesterday, they only had those hens that first hour or so of daylight. And by 8 o'clock, them jokers were all by themselves. So I'm hoping we get a taste of that too. Shift. It just sounds like he is. Because now that I'm over here, the joker's in the same exact spot. Dang, things are everywhere. Well, the turkey had crazy in his voice, but he didn't have moving on his mind, at least not to me. I don't know if it was that same turkey. I had those two hens and they eventually got tired of me squawking at him and pulled him the other way. I can still hear him, but he's done pushed all the way away. So I'm gonna stroll around on this property and give it a look at the parts of it I haven't seen yet. And uh, the turkey across the road is still absolutely raking it like he's like a turkey is just, just crazy. Oh, I walked to that corner, did a little calling, ain't heard nothing. Flushed a couple hens. Seems to be hens in these fields everywhere, which is a good thing, but they're all by themselves, which is should be a good thing for me. Um, we're gonna walk to the other corner. This big old long field. I'm on one end. I'm gonna go to the other end and call down off in it. Um, just took another little break back there for about 20 minutes, intentionally trying to let it get up into the day. Um, see if we can get these turkeys by themselves. I'm assuming a lot of these turkeys are following those first couple hens that they roosted with, and they'll uh by themselves hopefully about now Two turkeys just got one there and one there. Both of them, I think, across the road. But what's funny is I was down here and I made this call over there about 40 minutes ago and nothing gobbled. Which means maybe these turkeys are now starting to leave hens and be by themselves. side of the big 
Field I had to come across and he crushed it twice his way over in here. Probably still across the road. But it did sound like he'd went to the right some. I was gonna crawl up on this hilltop over here and listen to him. Turns out there's a road that goes up there and that's what we're on right now. <sighs> I just walked to the top of this little hill. <clears throat> Turkey's on my side of the road for sure. Guess where he's going? Guess where he's at? You know that ridge top that I've done walk to twice and said this big place to kill one right here. That's where he's at right now, if I ain't mistaken. If not, he's right there and on his way. <laughs> you know, I gotta get there without him knowing it. All these fingers have bluffs on them, I just noticed. So I don't know where he can come up from. A lot of it's rock bluff.
Snakey rascal. Let's go get him. I don't know what that. this morning. It's the third time I've climbed this thing. This turkey was across the road. It's all over. It's all over. Three quarters inch long, maybe. But they were hooked. I keep hanging on the This turkey 
has got up since 4.44 this morning. I'm pretty sure that was him that left the first one. We set up on this little ridge top playing these turkeys on the other side. It was off on property we couldn't be on. Played all morning with him. Went to the opposite hill. Ignored him all morning because we knew he was off limits. He was across the road, a county road. Paved road. Played with these turkeys all morning. Tried to make a big old loop for that farthest bird and it didn't work out. Came back to this knob, it didn't work out. Just, then just kind of went scoping the rest of the property out. Went and walked a blue million miles over yonder on the other side. Coming back to the truck, I said, well, I might just sit on by the road. Caught the turkey across it just because I like to hear him go. <clears throat> I got over there. And the turkey gobbler thought, man, he's made a hard move to the right. And uh, walked down there, was just gonna walk down to the road. And that joker gobbled, I said, he is definitely on my side of the road now. He is across the road, my side. <coughs> and he was headed up the finger ridges and I said I know where you're going when I saw it this morning at daylight I said you kill a turkey right here like it's just just the spot where one would want to hang out during the middle of the day when it's hot it's open it's shady but it's got fields right there you can be heard for a hundred million miles it's right up here on top <coughs> and that's where he's going then it was a race luckily I think he staged up down there right below those rock bluffs. Anyways, I could tell he was flanking to the left for me up here. And I thought, well, that makes sense. The way I've been coming up is this big finger right here seems to be the most gradual on the side. That's the way I've come up for the third time today. And by the time I got set up and situated, I mean, I had just got situated. And I thought, I gotta know where he's at because where I set up, I mean, it's, it's a thick jungle of mess. And the turkey came up right down the gun barrel, and he drummed so hard right there, and I thought, I know I've got to be able to see this turkey. But it was going to be a ridge crest situation. And I was looking for him. I was looking, 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 and I couldn't see the doggone thing. And by that time, I caught his head, and it was going to the, to the left, and almost like an alert deal. <clears throat> I don't know if he's alert or not, but... He was, I'm thinking, did that turkey, has he been able to see me and I just not picked up on him for the last handful of seconds? Because that last drum was close enough where I felt like I should be able to touch him. But he was going left, <clears throat> right through this thick stuff, and he got behind that big old blackjack tree right there, and I made my move to get my barrel over here to where it needed to be. And he walked up right there. I mean, I had to plow through some stuff, and I don't know if it was off the camera or not. If it was, I'm sorry, there was no move in the camera. Um, but... It was, uh, it was good. That's what it was. It was, it was good. It was a good one. Mm. This, late space, this late season can be something special. That does it for this property. We've, uh, Taking one from two different properties now. <sighs> so, got a rule, one per property. Please enter your 10-digit tag or harvest authorization number. y'all can tell but this is a giant triple trunk oak here pretty neat figured make a fine spot to uh, celebrate it's uh, a heck of a thing the weather could not be better I mean the turkeys are gobbling I mean
beautiful, beautiful time to be a turkey hunter. Beautiful time. So I think I'm going to shut up and sit here enjoying being just that. Because today... Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down in the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.